there's no greater feeling to dream big and, and have those dreams come true. Gina Lofton isn't on her way. In fact, she's already arrived. Growing up in eastern North Carolina, it really sits on me that I represent the art of the possible. As a graduate of North Carolina School of Science and Math and a proud North Carolina a and Aggie. One of the things that drives me is that I had big hopes and dreams and aspirations, and I wasn't going to let anybody to keep me from it. 28 years in a career at IBM as an executive in multiple roles before retiring in 2021 as chief technology officer for Microsoft. It was then the conversation shifted to starting a new career, serving as a board member on multiple boards. Taking everything that I've gathered in a career and now helping other companies grow. Today, Lofton sits on nine boards from finance to tech to private companies and even education. And the list of former boards goes on. We don't have to talk about all of that. And it's led to this, being featured in a new film called On Board, story of black women on boards. And now we have something special we want to share with you this morning. Members of the new global organization, Black Women on Boards, are working to get more black women on boards of directors. This year, the group is celebrating the anniversary of Patricia Roberts Harris, who served as the first black woman to serve on a corporate board for IBM dating back to 1971 and the first black woman in a presidential cabinet under former President Jimmy Carter in 1977. So to sit here as a black woman, executive in tech, now on these corporate boards, that we can achieve that. Achievement that also meant being the first woman or the first black person a lot of the time. Especially because I was in research or engineering. Um, and, but you have to be okay being a trailblazer. Like, I got really okay being the first. It was natural to me. And that's where Gina and black women on boards are today, continuing to forge ahead. I don't want anybody to think the path has been easy, but it's always a privilege to open a door. So girls, younger women, and those in their career have equitable access to a seat and a voice in the boardroom. You get to see it when the polish is already on, the work is done. I was you, right? I was you sitting there hoping and dreaming that one day this would happen, and my dreams did come true. Dreams.